G'day, I'm Lee Hopkins from My Video History. Welcome to the seventh and last in a series of videos that looks at how to create your own video biography. Today, I want to talk about how to edit your video. Your final video will end up being the edited parts of several smaller videos, each one looking at a question or theme in the video biography, drawn from the answers on the worksheets. What you'll need now is a piece of editing software that will enable you to stitch all of the short videos together to make one long video, plus edit out any fluffed takes. Now, on a side note, but you can't edit out all the ums and ahs a person makes. Attempting to do so will drive you mad and leave you with a video devoid of the human touch. Far better to leave the ums and ahs in. After all, that is how the person speaks in daily life and you want to show that essence of humanness. Editing software can be cheap to purchase or free in the case of Shotcut, a great editor for the Windows and Mac computers. Another cheap package is Coral's powerful Video Studio Pro which you can pick up for around $100 or less. Of course, the other end of the spectrum are the Pro Tools, like Final Cut Pro on a Mac and Adobe Premiere Pro on Windows. They cost in the many hundreds of dollars and will have features that you'll probably never use. My suggestion would be to try Coral's video software and Shotcut and see which one best suits your own personal style of working. When editing, look for examples and help files from the software developers or check out Google and YouTube for editing hints and tips for interviews. One helpful tip is to pick one transition style between video segments, say a crossfade, and stick with it throughout your video. A crossfade is the most popular transition style as it's the least abrupt of changes from one video snippet to another. A nice crossfade can be simple and look better than just cutting from one take to another, especially if your subject has moved slightly in their chair. Once you've finished editing, your editing software will have a way of saving your completed video onto a format useful for burning to a DVD or for uploading to YouTube or Vimeo. You can save the video file with a password so that only those who have the password can see the video. This saves the embarrassment of seeing your, your private and personal video showing up on Google's front page. Well, that's the end of this video and of the series. If what you've seen interests you, Please feel free to call us on 08 8120 0300 to discuss how we might be able to help you record your own personal video biography. For more videos about recording a video biography, visit our website at myvideohistory.com.au. Goodbye.